Aspire to inspire, patient care goes beyond the four walls. My name is Sabrina Cooper. I am a registered dental hygienist and holistic culinary nutritionist with a certification in mindfulness, and my mission is to guide you to channel the things that align with your integrity, things that bring wholeness to your lives, because when you feel good and come from a positive place, others will feel good and be inspired by you. This creates a chain reaction for positive personal growth and change in everyone's overall health and well-being. So before we start, I want to ask you a few questions, because I know that myself, I could have checked many of these off when I was working. Have you ever had those days when you want to throw in the towel and it's like the start of the day? Why did you feel this way? Where did the negative negativity stem from? Do you often feel like you're seen but not heard? What makes you feel this way? How does it impact your day? Do you feel depleted and energy starved at the end of the day? What are the reasons you felt this way? What was robbing you of your energy? Do you count down the minutes of your workday waiting to exit the doors of the office? What's the energy like in your workplace? Is it positive? Is it negative? What are some of the reasons you're so eager to leave? What is really making you race out of those doors? Do you wish that you could be doing something other than what is going on within the four walls? What are the things that drive you, that give you that boost of energy, that really fuel the soul? What are the things that you wish you could be doing right now? These are questions to get you thinking, to dig deep and remove everything that has covered what gives you energy. When I work with my clients, I always like to provide nourishing bites when it comes to food. So this is a something that I thought you could um, nourish, and it was a saying that I really found to drive home what I really want from this presentation. So passion is energy. See the power that comes from focusing on what excites your soul. What does nourish mean? So there are two meanings I came across. One, provide with food or other substances necessary for growth, health, and good condition. Two, keep a feeling or belief in one's mind, typically for a long time. So this really relates to both, doesn't it? It's, I really want this to provide some, I want you to provide something to your soul that excites you and something that you will get energy from. And two, I want you to take this saying, hold on to it, tuck it away in your mind, hopefully for a very long time, as the definition says, so that you can come back to it when you need it as a reminder, a reminder to focus on what excites your soul so that you can gain the energy and that will give you the power to live fulfilled and fuel and live with vitality and encourage your patients to do the same. Aspire to inspire. Living with integrity gives you purpose emotionally and mentally that brings happiness all around. Integrity is a big word. One definition I came across is adherence to moral and ethical principles, soundness of moral character, honesty, the state of being whole, entire, or undiminished, a sound, unimpaired, or perfect condition. What this means is that if you follow your inner guide, your beliefs, the things that make you feel whole, you will do what's right for you to bring you a state of happiness emotionally and ment mentally. There will be times that your integrity is tested, but it's important to trust and value what you need to stay whole. These moments that may challenge you are there to help you grow. So feel what comes up in those moments. Take a few breaths, pause, and learn from them. There are a few things that I found valuable along my journey to help me maintain wholeness and give me purpose. My purpose, I realized early in my career, was more than being a dental hygienist. I decided that while working, I would do what gave me energy, allowed me to live with integrity, and created a positive energy that I could share with others. I was inspired, which in turn inspired others, and through reaching things on my bucket list, the one thing that was constant was human connection. When I was back in the four walls of the office, the energy I vibrated after filling my cup created positive patient experience. Let's see what I mean by all of this. These are a few things that I have created on my bucket list, which was on that list um, on the first page there. 
so all of these things lead up to inspiring and you can see that I have achieved some, some are still ongoing, some are in the works, I color code them. And a lot of these didn't happen overnight, they happen over time. These are just things that I set out in my mind or on a piece of paper and I put out there and I'm like, this is what I really want to do. I, this is something that's driving, I can feel it in my soul, my inner guide's telling me this is what I need to do. And so it gives me purpose, it gives me a goal, a passion, something to fuel me. And you might be thinking I could never do that or that this is, you know, doesn't work for me. Um, what does this have to do with me? I firstly think that everybody has something that they want to do. There's something in, in that that you might think, oh, that'd be cool. I want to try that. Or maybe you feel like deep down there's something else out, out there for you other than the four walls. There's something out there bigger than just being a dental hygienist. And I'm actually just being a dental hygienist. Being a hygienist is a huge thing, but there might be something else that's that's calling you that that fills you up. Whatever it is, it, it's a bucket list, a goal, a passion, whatever you want to name it can come in any size, shape, form, and there's no right or wrong. So keep it in mind and never give up on it. Do little things that will get you there, for example, you know, and for example, you know, my goal to help provide dental care to, to to people in Mexico City was something that I put in while I was in dental school. I really wanted to do a give back. I just said to my grandmother, you know, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to provide dental care for all the people in your neighborhood. I think it was because I really just wanted to give back. You know, I really wanted to help others. Well, my grandmother passed away. I couldn't get to do it in her neighborhood, but I found a group out of, Glo uh, out of Denver who uh, really were doing great work providing dental care for children. In remote areas. One of the areas was Guatemala. At the time, I was going through some personal, you know, issues having children, and I thought, what a great way to give back! I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to go, and I'm going to. This is meant to be. This mission. It's in line with everything that I stood for, and I can fulfill my wish of of giving dental care. So I did that. It changed my life forever, and I brought these experiences to my office. I talked about it. I um, was in one of the dental hygiene magazines. I had that article in my operatory. People would read it. They would light up. They felt passionate about what I was doing. They wanted to donate. They wanted to help me in any way they could because I would bring down clothing and things for kids. I, when I was there, I would help uh, families. So they really wanted to help and they felt inspired and I was really grateful for that. I also had a daughter's friend who really was inspired by what we did. She wanted to have make change in the world. She was only 16. So she came with us. She asked if she could come and she volunteered with us. And it also changed her so much so that she chose a career um, for global change, something or other, these fancy um, degrees. And she has graduated and I'm so pleased that I could have been part of her journey and inspired her to to make changes in the world. Um, there's others on there. My 5k ended up being a 10k, but I won't get into that. And all I have to say is that every little thing you do, like your hobbies, maybe you take a course, maybe it's not exactly exactly what's on your bucket list, but close to it, it just will be something that fills you up and keeps you going and inspires and you will inspire to inspire others and you'll get inspired. It's just filled with positivity. And so it's something that can keep your spirits alive. It can get you out of the four walls of your dental office and perhaps it will shift your mindset and get you excited to do something new and live fulfilled. I have known Sabrina for my whole life, and she has always inspired me to give back and do something impactful. So in 2018, I joined Sabrina and her husband, Stephen, on the Global Dental Relief Volunteer Mission to provide dental care to impoverished children in the Mayan Highlands. The sheer amount of empathy and kindness Sabrina envelops shines through everything that she does and all that she is. Her commitment to her work shines through all of her achievements and encouraged me to find my voice through activism. Throughout our volunteer mission, Serena's outlook on life ringed with positivity and light, 
inspiring others to lead a lifestyle filled by selflessness and generosity. The state we find ourselves in 2022 is a frightening one. However, luckily, with people like Sabrina in the world, I know that powerful impact and change is possible, even in the absence of any form of repayment or funding for her time. She does it because she cares. Wow, this this adventures to fill my soul is something that I'm so passionate about because I feel like everybody needs an adventure. It doesn't matter if it's a faraway place. It doesn't matter where you go or what you do, but you want to go somewhere that you can get grounded and get some energy. It could be just going for a walk in your neighborhood alone could be an adventure. It could be a bike ride. It could be camping at a local campground. What I will say is that when you do pick something, pick something with purpose, meaning something that's in line with what makes you feel whole, something that you will come home energized and ready to inspire, not something that you might feel depleted. But I will say that sometimes adventures and, and, and travel can make you come home feeling a little bit tired because maybe it didn't turn out the way you thought. Maybe it wasn't exactly something that you thought you would in, you didn't enjoy it as much as you thought you would or something went wrong or whatever have you. But if you look at the positive lining at it and you 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 see what this adventure did, it got you out of the four walls, right? And it's an experience that you can still share with others. You gain something from it. And take it as a learning moment that can, that learning moment can be used to make you stronger, wiser, and an opportunity to take you one step closer to where it is you may be longing to be. There are times where I did something and I was like, you know what, this really, really wasn't for me, but I'll give it another go because maybe I just had a bad experience the first time. Maybe it was because I didn't have the right shoes or whatever it was. And to be honest, every time I did that, I was so excited because it inspired me to like, go out and do something again. And I was just proud of myself for doing it again. Even the first time wasn't the greatest. And sometimes I'd find that the second time was even better. But but through all of this, it was just great because I could come back and share a story and laugh about it later, even if it was something that I didn't like. So do something that gives you positive energy or gives you energy that fills your heart, mind, and body. There was a little story about these words. So I came across this at the front of a new book uh, called Lighter by Young Pueblo. And I had been following Young, Young Pueblo for a while now on Instagram and love what he has to say. So this book, I thought, no, you know what, should I buy it? I wasn't sure. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and, and get it because I love what he his writing. I love his journey. He's inspiring me. So I got it. And the first page that I opened up had this saying on it. And I thought, wow, this is exactly what I'm talking about in my presentation. Because when you do things that light you up and listen to your inner guide, you will gain so much positivity from that instead of fighting what isn't working. And I just loved, loved this. So I'm sharing it with you and I hope it inspires you as well. Pick the path that lights you up. The one you know deep down is the right choice. Stop listening to doubt. Start connecting with courage. Do not let the idea of normal get in the way. It may not be the easy path, but you know great things take effort. Lean into your determination. Lean into your mission. Lean into the real you. I believe that everyone needs a good distraction, something that will shift your mindset, something that keeps you grounded and fills your heart. We talked about adventures, our bucket list, and so something simple as hobby can fill your cup. And these are some of the little hobbies that fill my cup, cooking, meditation, my garden, the great outdoors, whatever it may be. I like being outside, reading. It could be as simple as making a puzzle. Um, you know, I love those things. These are things that I do when I'm feeling stuck. They make me whole. They light me up. I can do them alone. I can do them with my husband. I can do them with my dog. It, it, it's just something that I can get away from my every day. So swimming I loved as a child and fell away from it. But one day I decided I would try it again. 
So not going to lie, but it was a little daunting getting into the pool with strangers, trying to figure out the whole lane system of swimming. But even though I was rusty, to say the least, and out of shape, I loved it and went back the next day and the day after and the day after and I kept at it because I was inspired by others that were strong swimmers. And one day a young lady was in the pool just starting out. And as I was getting out of the pool, she said to me, oh my gosh, you're such a great swimmer. You're so fast. I wish I could swim like that. And I smiled because I had that, I had felt exactly like her not so long ago. So I said to her, I know that you'll be exactly where you're meant to be in your swimming if you keep at it, because I felt the same way when I started. She had a huge smile. She said thanks for the encouragement and the inspiration. And we just felt happy. We both were smiling when we left. So just those little things, like you can be inspired and you can also inspire by doing your hobbies. What are some of the things that light you up? Cooking, yoga, exercise. Don't make excuses. Make them happen. Take the time for yourself. Self-care is really, really important. Self-care and self-love and doing what you love will radiate a happiness that others will want to mirror. Trust me. Throughout the years, I have been inspired by people, places, food, and experiences. <clears throat> and to this day, I still am, I am still inspired by many people in my culinary nutrition world and mindful coaching. These experiences I would often bring to the office when I was working. I shared them with my patients. And honestly, I can say that it really had a positive impact in my world in so many ways because by sharing, we created a communication, human connection, and I was able to connect with these patients on a whole other level. They trusted me and we cried, we laughed, and often I would realize, one, I was not alone in some cases, two, that my day might have been bad, but somebody else's day might have been way worse, and so that shifted my mind and gave me a lot of food for thought, and I was able to plant seeds where I thought I could, that where I thought they could be nourished, where people could grow and use these little nuggets of information. And it was pretty neat watching these people time after time and the little changes that they were making in positive direction. So my takeaway was that when I got inspiration from others, I always let them know. I always told them how grateful I was, how I was inspired by their journeys, and it shifted their energy as well because it's really important to let those people know that they're making a difference as well. The quote from Gandhi, be the change you want to see in the world, is what made me live in the way of my integrity. Change begins with yourself. This page isn't meant to be about the accolades or praise. It's meant to show that by taking the time to focus on human connections and sharing what keeps you going with others promotes positive change. It creates connections that go beyond the four walls. Diane is a fellow hygienist who always knew that there was more than the four walls, and she took the initiative to seek what filled her cup. She made connections that were unforgettable, and you can hear the elation in her voice when she speaks of her experiences. She doesn't mention this, but she inspired me when she and her partner packed up their lives in Los Angeles, California, moved across the country to Cedar Mountain, North Carolina, and took over a fruit and vegetable market. The market had been there for years, and the patrons were nervous about a young lesbian couple taking it over. They worked hard, however, and have now created a beautiful community that hosts workshops and provides local goods to all. Diane always knew she wanted to help people, and she continues to do this through her volunteer work. Take a listen. Hi, my name is Diane Slover, and I am a registered dental hygienist. And when I decided to become a hygienist, I just really Lord. wanted to make routine dental care in our clinic. So I definitely knew that I'd integrate volunteering into this career. I started participating in several annual health care clinics, participated in many caries screening and fluoride treatments for elementary children. And being around those kids, it was just so heartwarming. And one of those experiences led me to become a chaperone at a goat farm where they made cheese and got to milk the goats and 
taste the cheese and had my kids that I that I was assigned to. It was just so spontaneous and just so fun. Uh, I just became a part of their community that day. And it was just such a memorable experience. I then uh, eventually started volunteering in Guatemala for children, where we screened, cleaned, sealed, and more importantly, we educated proper oral health care and nutrition so we could help with the prevention of dental caries in that region. Anyhow, it was just such a magical experience. Uh, all the volunteers became family. I went back three more times. I remembered many of the kids from the past clinic and a lot of the parents I remember, and they remembered me as well. Uh, it was just like a family. And so I also made lifetime friends, and all these experiences have been so priceless. The friends you make, the people you help. So this really confirmed that I made the right decision to pursue this career, and it led to other volunteering, help to give to the community. So no matter how close or how far or what you do to help, every little effort counts if we all pitch in. And just this career really led me down that path to wanting to help people. Creating a warm, welcoming, positive experience for my patients was a change that I wanted to achieve while working in the four walls of my dental hygiene op. It was being able to share the things I learned and was passionate about that created a human connection. Listening to my patients' needs, concerns, and personal stories helped gain their trust and in many cases helped them shift their habits and their mindset. Hi, my name is Sylvia and I am a longtime patient of Sabrina. No one took care of my oral health like Sabrina, so much so that when she left that office, I followed her to her other office. Uh, Sabrina always gave us good advice and promoted good oral health, not just for me, but in a um, child-sensitive way to my two daughters who looked forward to going to see Sabrina. They considered her a friend. She was very humble and honest and had a very gentle way about her encouraging um, brushing, flossing, a healthy diet, good habits, and promoting us to improve um, day to day. Um, we talked about things in our personal lives and what was ma- what was important to us things that we stood for, and I know Sabrina did a lot of volunteer work, specifically in Guatemala. She always talked about how she loved going there and looking after um, children who didn't have the same access to dental care like we do here. I really admire her for that. I love what she stands for. I love the work she's trying to do, and I'm really glad that we met and that we're still in contact. Until this day, Sabrina has been um, the best dental hygienist that I have come across. She listened to my needs and not go the extra mile. And Sabrina did that, not just for me, but also my mother, who was a longtime patient of hers. And we still talk about her and her way of doing things and respecting our opinions and and wants till this day. Most people want to take shortcuts in their work. So I talked about filling your cup. So I filled my cup. I did my hobbies. I would do my, you know, travel and all these little things. And they all helped me complete things on my bucket list. And through it all, it was the human connection that really, really did something for me. It helped me feel heard and seen where maybe I didn't feel so heard and seen in the office Or maybe I didn't know if the patients actually were listening sometimes. But we all have journeys and we can all offer each other inspiration and help each other live with integrity. And that is so important. So what I learned from all of my adventures and hobbies is that making connections with people makes a difference. It didn't matter what their age was, where they were from, what they did. Everyone had a story and had their own journey. Learning about others by sharing, listening, and accepting each individual as they are has a huge impact, not only on ourselves, but on them. Belonging, being seen and heard, so that we work together in a more positive environment. I know it's not always rainbows and unicorns, and this is all part of building human connections, and I do expand this a little bit further in my coaching, But you still can gain something from those 
individuals that may not jive with your tribe. So take each one, like I've said before, as a learning and embrace it and find something that clicks so that you can inspire some positivity and shift mindsets. There has been quite a lot of information thrown at you. And I just wanted to summarize or put a few notes together because I just feel that this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of, of information that I offer and I just touched upon a few things. One thing that I want to drive home is that once you begin to live the way of integrity, of your integrity, you will be guided to the path of your true self, a fulfilled you who will inspire others that you meet on your journey. I trust me when I say this, you will. And it'll make a huge difference and a huge impact on patient care for sure. A mindset shift brings positivity in your world that has great benefit to not only you, but your team and your patients. By sharing your life lessons, interests, and experience, you are able to create connections with your patients that go beyond what they ever imagined. So you will provide them so a better patient care, so much better. You will understand each other on a whole different level and you can inspire them great greater into making positive shifts in their health not only their dental health but their overall health they'll want to do more for you because they're connected to you i came across this it's team and it's together everyone achieves more so i summarized it and thought about it and i figured that if we all feel seen and heard and value what everyone has to offer we can create an a better environment in the dental office. So you won't be wanting to run out those doors at the time you have to leave. You won't be counting down the minutes. You won't want to throw in the towel. We can all embrace what each other has to offer and realize that we're all able to inspire each other. We will have the most amazing offices and provide the most amazing patient care. If you nourish well, you will be well not only on the inside, but on the outside, and you will be an influencer through positivity. Just like everything, my business, Nourish Well, evolves all the time. And what I really love offering is individuals a place to feel safe, a place to know that I'm not here to tell you what to do and harp on you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to Embrace your journey, your individual journey, and want you to do what's right for you. Just, and I want you to feel seen and heard. Mindful eating is just that. It's listening to your body's needs. And when you listen to your body's needs, you begin to love yourself. You begin to have that self-love and self-care. And you begin to love yourself with integrity which will attract your tribe and you become the mirror to others who are inspired with what you're doing. You also will want to share and live out your truths. So you're going to be that positive influencer. You're going to shift your mindsets. You're going to plant seeds. You're going to watch them grow. All you have to do is listen to your inner guide, trust your journey, and I'm here to coach you. I'm here to help and guide you and lead you on your way or keep you on your path. I would love for you to join me in inspiring the change you want to see, achieving your goals, um, no matter how big or small they can they are, so that we can be positive healthcare influencers. Be the change. As aspire to inspire. And I'm here always, and you can find out more information on www.nourishwell.com. And I'm on Instagram at nourish, N-U-R-I-S-H underscore well. And on Facebook, just Nourish Well. Um, thank you so much for listening to what I had to say today. I hope you are inspired to make change 
or just and just live out your truth and follow your inner guide and be that influencer. Thank you.